Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 31 week pregnancy update. I am 31 weeks pregnant with Collins, baby girl, today. Um, the last update that I did, I was exactly 28 weeks pregnant, so I'm going to be covering the last three weeks with you guys. I don't really have a ton of new updates, however, I do have some really, really exciting news and some pictures, some little ultrasound pictures to share with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing what's been going on in the last three weeks, then just keep watching and we're going to jump right into the video. As always, I like to start with weight gain. So currently at 31 weeks pregnant, I have gained a total of 14 pounds as of stepping on the scale this morning. Um, so I'm doing really, really good with weight gain, especially considering how large my child is, which we will get to that. Um, I feel like I say that in every video, but guys, she just continues to blow me away in size. I just, I cannot wrap my head around it. Um, so yeah, doing good in the weight gain with my son Emmett. If you guys are new here, I do have a two year old little boy Emmett. He was born in November of 2018. He was a C-section baby and he was nine pounds, eight ounces. And with him, I wanted to stay underneath that 25 pound weight gain mark. And I think I ended up gaining 24 pounds with him total. Um, at this point in my pregnancy with Emmett, I think I had already gained between like 17 and 18 pounds, something like that. So I'm doing really good. Um, I did start off a little bit heavier with Collins. I think I had about five more pounds on me than I did when I got pregnant with Emmett. So we're staying pretty consistent there and I couldn't be happier about it. Moving into symptoms, I do not have a ton of symptoms to share with you guys. Everything has pretty much been very consistent with my last few updates. So if you want to go check those out, then I will have them all linked down below. Um, just to like run through them very quickly. Round ligament pain, Braxton Hicks, um, acid reflux, and let's see uncomfortable obviously and it's getting really really hard to move around i have noticed in the past couple of weeks that just my everyday task of being a mom to a two-year-old are getting a little bit harder it's getting harder to lift emmett and to um do my my motherly duties i guess you could say so emmett is a really big two-year-old though he weighs like close to 35 pounds i think and he is really tall so He's been doing more things independently in the past couple of weeks. We're trying to prepare for when a baby sister comes. Another thing is that I am very congested right now. You guys can probably tell if you watch my videos. I sound super nasally. I have like just the congestion, drainage stuff going on. Emmett also is super snotty. And I know when you're pregnant, you can have congestion and um, like just more mucus. So I think that's part of it. And then, you know, I probably do have like a little bit of a head cold on top of that. So at night, it has been so hard to breathe. I mentioned in my last update that my nose has just been so dry and it still is. <laughs> so what I've been doing to help that is I've, I've always slept with a humidifier. So I'm still doing that, but I have been putting aquaphor on a q-tip and putting that inside of my nose at night and that has been amazing it has helped me so much and then i'm also sleeping with the breathe right strips guys if you guys have any kind of congestion and you cannot breathe through your nose i like 150 percent recommend the breathe right strips i did not discover them until a couple of months ago when one of you guys recommended them to me and oh my gosh they have changed my life like if i couldn't breathe through my nose right now at this stage of pregnancy it's it's awful because mouth breathing is the worst thing in the world. So I have been using those every night. The insomnia has definitely kicked in. I am waking up every hour to either go to the bathroom or just to wake up. And then I'm waking up super early, like four, between four and five in the morning. And I'm just like ready to go for the day because I can't go back to sleep. So um, the pregnancy insomnia has definitely started. I think that your body 100% prepares you for that newborn stage where you're gonna be up all night with a baby. Um, it just, it prepares you because I remember the same thing happening with Emmett. The last little symptom that I wanted to touch on is back pain. So when I was pregnant with Emmett, my back and tailbone hurt me so bad. I was going to the chiropractor weekly and it just wasn't helping me at all. So 
I have noticed a little bit more back pain in the past three weeks. However, it's nothing like it was when I was pregnant with Emmett. And I think there are two main reasons for that. So I'm going to share them with you. Um, for one, as you guys know, I'm an accountant. And if you don't know, then I'm an accountant. So I sit at a desk all day long and we are currently still working from home. So I've been working from home in March. It will be a full year. Um, I've honestly like loved it so much but I have my own desk and like obviously my own chair and my chair is so much more comfortable than sitting in my office chair that I have at work. So I think that that has helped a lot along with the fact that I have a desk that I can stand up if I want. Um, I can get up and move around more. Just my like eight hour work environment is a lot more comfortable. So I think that that has helped a lot. And then the second thing is the leggings that I have been wearing. I think I mentioned them in my first trimester when I first got them. They are like the blank you blank you B A L N Q I. I think that's how you spell it, but I'll have them linked down below, but they're like support maternity leggings and my gosh guys they're amazing I can tell a huge difference from day to day if I wear them and if I don't wear them and on days that I wear them I have little to zero back pain because they are so supportive and they really just help to like hold everything up um and then days that I don't wear them I do experience a lot more back pain and just uncomfortable overall so I have two pairs of them and I alternate between them and if you guys are pregnant if you're early on in pregnancy or even at this stage in the game I would still spend the money on them because they are so worth it so i will have those linked down below i don't get any anything for mentioning that at all i just really wanted to share it with you guys because it has been a must-have for me in this pregnancy for sure as far as cravings go i really haven't had any cravings at all i am eating a lot less and i think that's just because i have a lot less room to fit food so um my meals are smaller and i'm getting fuller faster but that also happened with my son emmett um so no real cravings. Moving in to our appointments and ultrasounds. So at the end of 29 weeks, I think I was 29 weeks and five days, we had a private ultrasound for 30, 40 pictures. And this was like a package deal that we bought back when we went for, I think it was like 15 weeks when we found out the gender, which we actually found out in nine weeks, but that was just like a confirmation ultrasound. Um, it was a bundled package. So we scheduled it for between 29 and 30 weeks just because I know that she's large and in charge and I wanted to get some really good pictures of her before she was just all smashed up and you couldn't tell anything about her. So we did get some really awesome pictures. I did post them over in one of my vlogs. I showed you guys um, what she looks like, but ugh, it's just crazy. Technology is insane. Um, she was opening her mouth and her eyes and like just sucking. It's just crazy the things that you can see that they're doing in there. So I will share some pictures with you guys. She looks just like Emmett looked like when he was a newborn. They look identical. So, um, okay. I'm trying to hold it where the window isn't glaring on the picture, but this is one of the best ones that we got. And guys, how sweet is that photo? Here's another one where she's smiling and she has her little hands up by her mouth. And another one where you can see her little nose. This one's really cool because her eyes open and she's got her little hand up by her mouth. It was just really fun to see her and to get these really good pictures and I'm so glad that we did it. We will get like the 30, 40 pictures um, at my 36 week growth scan with her but whenever we did that with Emmett he was so smashed up you literally couldn't tell anything about him so like I said we wanted to do that a little bit earlier with her and then um, that was on a Friday. The following Wednesday I had my 30 week OB appointment and my doctor wanted to do a growth scan on her just because she was measuring so big at my like follow-up anatomy so guys I'm literally blown away she's huge <laughs> she was measuring over two weeks ahead in all of her body parts her belly was measuring four weeks ahead her abdomen Four weeks ahead she at 30 weeks and two days she already weighs four pounds ten ounces four pounds ten ounces can you imagine how much more weight she's gonna gain in the next 
um, well, we have a scheduled C-section, but in 10 weeks, could you imagine? So she um, averaged out to measure over two weeks ahead, and she's just very big. And so when you think about my weight gain, um, I'm pretty much all Collins because she weighs close to five pounds and then you add in all of her blood and fluid and placenta and all of that stuff I mean it's just it's insane so um we did go ahead and schedule my uh, re I'm having a repeat c-section I had to have a c-section with Emmett I was I dilated to a 10 with him um and I was like ready to go. However, he he wouldn't drop down. He stayed at like a negative one or two position. I'm not really sure the terms of it, but he just wasn't coming down, and he couldn't fit. He was way too big. Um, he was nine eight when he was born, and she's on track to be bigger than him. So like, I'm not even gonna put myself at risk for a V back. Like to me, that's just it's not worth it. My husband is a um trauma ICU nurse he's almost done a nurse practitioner school he has seen a lot of things and he's just like totally 100% on board with a repeat c-section too because he knows how dangerous VBACs could be if you're not a good candidate like if you're a candidate for a VBAC then go for it um I mentioned I talked about this in my one of my updates I'll have a link down below I talked about the repeat c-section but I'm definitely going for the repeat c-section route because I am on track to be in the exact same position that I was with Emmett and she's just she's huge so I'm not gonna take the risk and try and do a VBAC just it's just not worth it for me so um we scheduled my c-section for 39 weeks and she legally like cannot schedule me earlier than 39 weeks even though baby is like measuring huge so if i start showing signs like if i start dilating obviously if i go into labor early all of those things then i'll just go into the hospital and i will have it would be more of like a emergency c-section because it's not as planned um but regardless of if i go into labor or if i don't i am having a repeat c-section so we have a definite date now that baby girl will be here a day and a time <laughs> and that's really really exciting i did get some pictures of her which is really funny because she was sticking her tongue out and licking her toes in the ultrasound and she just like loves things in her mouth which is funny because and it was the exact same way when he was born he came out and like he wanted everything in his mouth i think we he latched on and nursed in packy for or like an hour so i think she's going to be the same in one of these pictures i was laughing because i was like well we know she's not going to have a tongue tie because emmett had a lip tie that we got revised but um she definitely does not have a tongue tie i'll show you her little pictures of her sticking out her tongue so this one you can see her little tongue sticking out right there maybe at the glares and then this one is wild so she's licking her foot in this picture her foot is pressed against her nose and then she's licking it but like look at her tongue that is everything for my 31 week update i did forget to mention that i do have the little dark line coming down the center of my belly um i got that with emmett too and it is starting to show up but i will probably go downstairs and do that belly shot for you so that i can be on like a blank wall i like to like have the good contrast so you can actually see my belly um but yeah i'll insert that belly shot for you guys all right here is my 31 week belly bump update i will show you guys my bare belly i always love this contrast of like the white wall with my leggings so these are the leggings that i was talking about in my update and here is the big old belly i'm not sure if you guys can see the line my belly button is pretty much just disappeared <laughs> it's not there really anymore yeah this is my belly at 31 weeks with baby girl collins 
And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this pregnancy update. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know if you're pregnant or if you're trying, how far along you are. Let me know all of the things. Um, I'm so excited to almost be done with this journey and to share this little girl with you guys. So make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, you can go follow me over on Instagram to stay up to date with us. And we will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.